Van Hogan fans have yet another reason to extend their stay at Carnoustie, because just a few miles away is the Panmure Golf Club at Barry. Besides Carnoustie, Panmure is the only other course in Scotland that Hogan ever played. He practiced at Panmure in the days leading up to the 1953 Open, and he learned the vagaries of Lynx golf there. He left an indelible mark, especially on the sixth. The hole is easy enough from the tee because there's a very generous landing area, but it turns scary on the second shot, played uphill into undulating dunes. There's trouble everywhere. It was Hogan's suggestion to place this bunker here, the only improvement he felt that the course needed. Once you've completed this gem of a hole, you will realize you've played one of Scotland's best. The Panmure Club is a classic gentleman's club with an appropriate clubhouse. It's old world, the way all golf clubhouses used to be. Remember, jacket and tie required in the member's lounge, which comes complete, incidentally, with its own snug, perfect for enjoying a quiet drink. What a treat to spend an evening in the traditional dining room and be able to fully absorb all of Panmure's own wonderful history. History of a different sort can be seen at nearby Glam's Castle. This was the childhood home of Her Majesty the Queen Mother and birthplace of Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret. Shakespeare even lives here in spirit because Glam's Castle is the setting of his play Macbeth. Yes, Canusti demands more than a day trip from St Andrews. With the three Canusti links, the, the Great Hotel and nearby Panmure and Glam's Castle, it calls for an extended stay to do it right. And do it right you should. <laughs>